Sister Wig Lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of another John Renault wig. This one's called Amanda and the color on Amanda is 832, also known as Cocoa Bean, I believe. So yeah, for one thing, I think that I should plan my makeup better because I look a little bit like a vampire with this dark wig on. But aside from that, I think that this particular wig is awesome. Like, the moment I took it out of the box, before I ever put it on my head, I literally went, ooh. Because <laughs> it just has so much hair. <laughs> it's got a ton of hair. So much hair. Um, I am a big fan of wigs with a lot of hair on them. Uh, I think it was just because, you know, I've got a real round face. So lots of hair tends to really frame my face and, and looks really awesome on me. Um, now, if you are of a petite uh, persuasion, if you are, you know, of slight build and you have a small head with small features, this is probably going to be way too much hair for you. I can just tell right off the bat. Just look at all the hair. But if you're like me and you're a big gal or, you know, you're just an average gal and you want glamorous, ultra long, definitely undeniably boob hugging, heavily layered, double monofilament top, luscious color action, then this one is just freaking awesome. <laughs> like, okay, it's 90 degrees out right now because I live in Georgia and uh, it's August, but yeah, so it's hot. So I will say that this is probably not my first choice for a summer wig. It's got a lot of hair, so it's a little heavy, but the, the heat actually comes from the fact that this has a 100% hand-tied double monofilament top that is very silky smooth to the touch. It's very realistic looking. I mean, look at that. That's crazy good. Um, does not have a lace front, which will make a lot of you really happy. I know a lot of people out there love the John Renault mono tops, but hate lace fronts. So this is that nice, happy medium. And it's just, it's, it's just a beautiful head of hair. Yeah, let's talk about the color since I keep dipping in and out of the sunlight. This 832 is not highlighted, as you can tell. What it is is a medium golden brown that has a very beautiful kind of dark Irish red sort of blended into it. So it's a little bit more auburn than a traditional dark auburn. It's got a little bit more of a red undertone to it. But as you can see, it's not garish. It's not super coppery. It's just got a really nice warmth to it. It's a little bit like Kate Middleton's color. If, if you're one of those people that's trying to approximate her hair color, this is very, very, very close. It's like a very true, dark, rich chestnut brown. Very beautiful. Let's talk some specs, shall we? So this wig weighs almost six ounces, which is heavy for a synthetic. It's 5.5 ounces. It feels a little heavier than that on, not gonna lie. I think it's just because it has so much hair. But as I've said before in other wig reviews, I personally would much rather get a wig with too much hair than a wig that has too little hair. Because if it has too much hair, you can always thin it. Whereas, you know, it's really difficult <laughs> to add wefting to a wig that doesn't have enough hair for you. And in fact, it can be nearly impossible to A, cut that hair if you manage to add the wefts, and it's very difficult to match colors. Um, the bangs, on Amanda are 9.25 inches, so quite long, but I love that this layer ends where it does, because look at that, it, it hugs the jaw perfectly. That is, that is beautiful, beautiful layering. Um, the crown is 18 inches, so real long from the crown down, so almost double the length of the front. The sides are 10.75 inches, so a little bit longer there, so very heavily layered wig. And then the nape is 16.5 inches. So this one's going to be over 22 inches in length overall. It's a very, very long wig. Again, it hugs the girls. So it qualifies in my mind as a boob hugger. So yeah, I, I love this wig. It's beautiful. There is one caveat that I want to alert you to, and that is the same caveat that applies to all wigs that are of this length or that frankly fall below the shoulders. And that's tangling. You're gonna get tangles. Tangles occur in all long wigs. Like there's no getting around it. You're never going to be able to find a product that will stop the tangling. It's going to happen. You, it's just a matter of how, when, and how you're going to deal with it when it occurs. So 
I think your best bet, honestly, is to prevent it as much as possible by using antistatic products. I advocate washing synthetics in uh, fabric softener for this reason, because fabric softener is antistatic. Um, I also recommend if you store your wigs in their boxes to put um, the dryer sheets in there because those are also anti-static. And uh, in a pinch, you can also use the uh, John Renault HD Smooth uh, Spray Detangler, which is also anti-static and works great on regular synthetic wigs in addition to the heat friendly. This is a conventional synthetic. It is not heat friendly. So if you try to heat style this in any way, shape or form, you'll, you'll melt the hair and it'll all bind together and then you know, it'll just be awful. So <laughs> I do not recommend heat styling Amanda. It doesn't need it. It's It's got enough style and body. And frankly, you know, even if you wanted to put it up in like a ponytail or something, I get people ask me all the time, can I put my wig back in a ponytail? Well, the answer is yes, sort of. I mean, people do it all the time, but I would recommend, you know, low ponytails. Okay. And don't pull tight. You'll yank the hair out. And also you'll get a lot of slippage if you pull too tight. So low ponytails are usually the way to go. Low, loose buns. But the key is loose and low. You wanna to try to keep all your hairstyles, if you're wearing a full wig, loose and low. Because by keeping them loose, um, you'll make it so that you're not risking pulling the hair so tight that the wig flies off your head and, and you don't have to keep yanking it forward the whole time, which you know is a bummer for anybody. And also, by keeping them low, uh, you also accomplish the same thing and the added benefit of if you pull if you pull them up too tight See what happens here. See what happens? Or like all, all that in my actual real nape is exposed You can you can craftily blend that in if your nape matches the the hair of the wig but it's a pain in the butt to do that. And if the wig shifts at all, then you're toast. Then, you know, people are gonna know you're wearing a wig. So if you keep it low, that nape, your natural nape is not gonna be exposed and you'll be much better off. And you don't want to tie ponytail holders too tight, by the way, because in doing so, um, you can actually break the hair and you don't wanna do that. So uh, loose, low, if you're gonna do ponies, which you can definitely do with a wig like this. This one, this one would actually be adorable in like some low pigtails, I think. Um, I can't believe I just said that. I'm in my 30s. I should never wear pigtails, but <laughs> not gonna lie, taking this off felt like a dream just because it's so hot out right now. You've got this generous amount of, of polyurethane here in the front. It's real nice and gummy. Will help uh, the wig stay in place. It is not sticky, however. Um, it just has a really nice amount of natural grippiness to it. You can also use this to um, apply adhesive if you like, like a piece of John Renault lace tape or something like that. Very lovely, silky, silky smooth, double monofilm on top, hotter than Dickens, but just, you know, very, very smooth, very comfortable. So if you have a sensitive scalp, this is the way to go. Very lovely wefting here in the back, beautiful felt ear tabs. I love these Velcro adjusters. I love John Renault wigs. They fit beautifully on me. Very lovely extended felt nape. Beautiful color, beautiful color, beautiful monofilament top. Um, this wig has lots of natural volume at the crown, but no permatease, which is a big plus. And like I said, it does not have a lace front. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is this wig is very comfortable. I have a really big head. It's uh, 23 and a half inches, which is big for a girl. And um, I think that this wig fits very, very, very comfortably. Um, I didn't have to adjust it whatsoever. It wasn't even let out all the way so I could potentially adjust it, you know, almost an inch more if I wanted to on either side. If you see what I mean there? But I don't have to. It just goes right on. It's it's very, very comfortable. So if you're in the market for a long wig, let, let's say you've been eyeballing the Brandy by more, but you're scared that that particular wig is gonna be too tight on you because it probably will be if you have a big head like me. Amanda is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful choice. I also highly recommend carrying one of these bad boys with you. If you buy Amanda or any other wig of comparable length, you'll want to buy something that fits in your purse or your pocket that you can use to gently, and gently being the keyword there, kind of smooth the hair out as you wear it. So that way you can kind of avoid some of those tangling issues. Though you want to be very, very careful while you're combing you know, pretend like it's hair attached to the head of a really uh, sensitive two-year-old, you know, who's going to cry if you pull too hard. Just very, very, very 
gentle, gentle. Start at the bottom and work your way up, kind of combing. And there you have it. This beautiful, beautiful wig is called Amanda and she's by John Renault. The color on Amanda was 8 slash 32, also known as Cocoa Bean. Thank you for watching. My name's Heather. I'm from sisterwigs.com. Check out my website if you get a chance. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.